The heart of any vehicle is its frame. So we're here taking a look at the TM4 frame, which has over 300 pieces completely welded as one seamless unit. The frame determines the durability, longevity, overall strength of the vehicle. All the forces we're going to focus on right now are going to be your front impact forces. And all those forces are channeled towards this plate here, which is an armored steel plate. And also happens to be the same point where the front suspension is mounted to the frame. So the point of highest impact is the point of hardest material. We use six other grades of steel throughout the frame in order to keep that balance, keep the weight down low, keep our center of gravity low. Our center of gravity is actually this line right here. That center of gravity is the only one in the industry that is below the driver's seat. The benefit of that is it keeps the vehicle more stable on hard corners when you're driving across a hill, makes it less likely to roll over. If you do manage to roll over, another unique feature to the Tom car is this structural sidestep here. The design of that is if you do go over, it creates a little cocoon around the occupant, creates a protective barrier to prevent injury, loss of limb um, to any of the occupants within the vehicle. The rest of the roll cage is again a seamlessly welded unit that features two main structural hoops that are actually an eighth inch thick wall piping to protect both the front and the rear occupants. Tip it forward a little bit here. You can see inside the center spine right here. The center spine is where the load of the vehicle is carried. The rear suspension channels to it, ultimately the passenger compartment channels to it, and it carries the weight in the vehicle and is the strength down the center of the car. Return to the front of the car for a moment and the point of first impact. When striking an obstacle, be it a rock or a tree stump, this is the point that's going to hit first, and we call these the rock crushers. And one of two things is going to happen when you strike that obstacle. One, it's going to break it in half. Or two, because of this guide, you're going to slide up the armored steel, along the guides, and onto the belly pan, allowing the vehicle to slide right over the obstacle. Once it gets to the end of the guide, it gets transferred onto our perfectly flat skid plate that you can see all the way back. The skid plate is covered with an aircraft grade aluminum. The reason for the aluminum is that it tends to slough off when sliding over rocks and obstacles, whereas steel has a tendency to bite in and slow down momentum. So by having that, it allows you to continue that momentum and keep sliding all the way to the back of the vehicle. 